Hi there, this is Crystal with Made to be Unique and today I'm working on some custom flashcard templates for my client with BiblePathwayAdventures.com. I've created a folder here with some of their assets which include um, some of their background images that I like to work with because they're in different layers and um, their logo and and just the layout, the general layout that I want to use for the flashcards. So this is this gives me uh, stuff to think about and refer to while I'm creating the flashcard uh, flashcard templates. Excuse me. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Photoshop, a new document. I'm going to keep uh, go with the U.S. paper size, 300 resolution. It's okay change the size image rotation so I'm going landscape this time what I'm going to do is create some boxes it doesn't matter what color They all need to be the same size. And they need to be side by side. I'm going to hoover over, over all three of them. And now, at the same time, I'm going to resize them. Now that I have them in the perfect, uh, the perfect size for the width, then they're all equal. They're all equal sizes. I'm going to highlight them again. And I'm going to drag and create a copy. See how it created a, a whole bunch more? And I'm going to bring that down over here. It needs to be touching those ones right on. Let's see. And now I'm going to highlight all of them. Drag it down. And now they're all evenly proportioned to they're, they're all the same size and they fill out the area individually so next what I want to do is actually I think I'd like these should probably be white white backgrounds I should have started with white So if you're not familiar with how to change the color of these boxes, now you are. There's other ways of going about it, but this is the way I'm going about it. Gosh, did I want that to be vertical? Actually, I did want that to be vertical. No. No, it would be flipped over like that. Okay. So one side is going to be um, the front of the flashcard, and then the other side will be the bottom, uh, the back of the flashcard. And all the parent has to do is cut out between the two, and um, and then just fold this like this could be the front. Let's say we could drag. We drag the logo over here. We're going to do a couple different um, flashcard templates. Actually, yeah, yeah, two flashcard templates. One will be um, full color, and then the other will be a very basic. We'll start off with the basic. Notice it's out down here on the layer, on the lower here. I'm going to have it up here on the top. And this is over here. I'd like to. I like to get my layers in order. Second, third. Hmm, actually, I want this and this to be on the same row. So, this will be my first. I'm going to create a group. This will be the first flashcard. And I'm going to drag it into the group. 
say there. That's going to be the first flashcard, the front and the back. What I think I would like to do is create a line for distinction. Stroke. Let's do something real light. We'll grab that, create a copy, put that up at the top layer so it's on the very top. I'm going to take that stroke off of there. Clearly your style. This one just goes over it. I'm going to lock this layer. Actually, going to take the filling out so it only all it shows is the stroke. Now I'll lock it. Now you see the lines where that is. Hmm. Actually I like it to go above because I don't like it up at the top. locked. Okay, good. Alright, that's what I want. Now I got the... this. I think I want it smaller. Let's zoom in. Ah. Now I don't want this too close to the edge because that could be getting into the uh, the printing area. The printer might cut it off. So that spacing is, I think, pretty safe. Or I could actually just um, center it. Here's a way to go about centering it. I'm going to grab the logo and grab the box, just that top box. Go up here and let it center automatically. Ta-da! Now going to go in here question and uh, this is a template so that she can change this at any point in time right now it has a different font than what she has so I'm gonna see if I can she has a different font on that oh. I'm going to give it a standard font. Open Sans. There we go. Just regular. Give it smaller. Bold. And this should also be centered as well. So I'd grab this and the box and center it. There. I'd like to have something separating the logo and the question. Hmm. We could do a line. That should be sufficient. Wait, five. Sounds good. I um, think I'm going to just go with a gray. Let's zoom in. That should also be centered. I think it's too long. Just grab all three of them and center them all. And I want to change the color of that question just to standard black. And 
I think this should not be bolded. So I'm going to highlight that and take the bold off. I'm going to move it around a little bit. I'll have to center that all over again now that I've moved it. That should be up higher. Also, I think I'll have another. Huh. I think I'm gonna do a different line. Let's do a box this time. Sorry, we'll get this right. I'm gonna bring this down to a very light fade. Then we want to do an invitation. Great. Find more flash color. Change the size really small. Mm, let's bring it in tighter, mm, even smaller. I think that works. See here. So it should be closer, a little bit closer to the bottom. That's pretty good. That's the question. Okay, I'm going to center everything, but I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with that one. There. Yeah, we'll see what she says. If she likes it or if she wants to change it some. This will also give her freedom to um, add pictures. Um, if she wants to just drop in little pictures here or on the other side, it's very easy for her to drop, drop in at this point. <clears throat> this is flash. We'll do the flash cue. And I need to make another folder. Flash A. Let's actually do flash 1 is the answer. Organization is really important when you do templates. Flesh one is the question. And this part is the answer. So this is the flashcard, the first flashcard, and this is the first flashcard answer, the part that they fold. Gosh, if they're gonna fold, they'll have to, it'll have to be upside down then, or they cut it out. Hmm. So it'll have to be upside down. Okay. So what we want to do is, I like, I like this little faded area. We'll see if our, if. Bible Pathway Adventures wants that or wants to change anything about that, but for now we'll keep the standard. I'm going to put that in a folder because it's easy to copy folders. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to put that in the answer side. Drag that down. And now, see. Uh, it 
did the whole thing, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Control Alt G. We'll undo. Oh, sorry, it's edit transform. Vertical. Ah. Well, I did it. Sometimes I gotta play with this just to get it right. There we go. Okay, so now it's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, try typing upside down. Gosh. So we want to make sure that this is centered. I'm going to cent grab that group with this one and I'm going to center it just like that. And if I want to center it in the, the whole part of the flashcard, I would go right here. And now it's centered in the very center of the center. So this is one flashcard. I have a question and an answer. There's my question, there's my answer. So if she wanted to bring in some pictures for this side, she'd want to do it upside down. Okay, next what I can do is copy these over. Since they already have everything, I'm going to create another group here and I'm going to drag it in there. We'll do flash one. Yeah, here we go. Just change that. Q&A. Okay, there we go. There's the first flash set. I'm going to copy this over. Flash two. There, perfect. If it's just right. Now, for printing purposes. I could leave that line there or I could hide that line right just like that and people can cut it out how they like. And um, on the her website she'll need to write instructions about um, where to cut. In fact, there should could possibly be a little suggestion on where to cut. I believe I have some scissors in here. There you are. course those can be taken out if you don't want them but that tells the person where they're supposed to cut and if we want this line here uh, to have bumps on it you know um, we can go to the strike excuse me stroke type pattern Go to one of the patterns. Let's see where do I have a pattern for dots? There we go. See, that's more like that for cutting. There we go. 
which is, you know, you can have it or you can, you know, have it or not have it, doesn't matter. Let's see, there we go. And that's our first flashcard template. That is easy for editing because all she has to do is go in there, highlight, uh, you know, click on it and edit it. Same with that. Just go on there and edit it. She can edit these individually if she likes. You know, if she wants it at, at a different color or something, and drop images in. Also, there's another way of going about and just flipping the whole entire page. So she can edit these a lot more easier than how you saw me editing it. Just go to image rotation. Ugh, didn't do that one. Sometimes I forget these things, you know. Let's do 180. Oh, it's because I have that lock on there. Ugh. Okay. Sorry. Of course. Let's try this. Oops. Now what I did was I uh, highlighted by using the shift key while I was clicking the bottom up to the top and then just dragged it in here. Now I'm going to try that and see if it'll move for me like I'm wanting it to. I... Well, that's embarrassing. I'll have to come back to the uh, flipping in one of my next videos.